All right, so I'm with a family member, not a client. And we have actually, yeah, t turn that down for me. Shit. We'll edit that piece out. And we actually, um, you know, do you want to explain why you get it? Why you're getting this? No. She doesn't want to explain it, but she's getting this. Ex there's no, uh, you already know what that means. So what we did right here is the center line. This is the center line, and it's called the body continuum and the flow chart. So, what we want to do is make sure that the, the words, and you want them straight, right? Okay. There you go, come on down. All right, so she's going to tell me where she wants it placed. Higher. Higher. Higher, higher this way. Yeah, like lower, the, right there. Right about there. Mm -hmm. Right there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what we're going to do is a placement. She told me where, and we're gonna get some stencil stuff, and I'm gonna put some gloves on. Um, Jesus, H. That didn't look good either. It looks nasty. <laughs> All right, so at this point, that's what you want to do, because um, what we're doing, as you know. <laughs> Are you freaking kidding me, dude? Is it like it's one of those thing. days? <laughs> the wrong thing. You don't want a condom to do that, guys. That's for damn sure. Are you... <laughs> Holy shit. Okay. So body placement and how you do that is you just find the center. The center of that limb. You know, pretend you're looking at bones and just go straight up from that point. So what I'm going to do right now is apply some stencil stuff. This isn't my homemade stuff. This is actually that stencil stuff. Hi, buddy. Okay. Hi, And here you don't want too much. You just want it tacky because you want the stencil to come out perfect. So you just apply some, you know, apply it up here where it's not going to be and then take it down from that point because you can remove some. Cover a wider area so that you don't, uh, and eventually when we start tatting, she's going to go, I put some film down, some, uh, uh, what's that shit called, um, you know that stuff, that plastic stuff, cellophane. Put some cellophane down so that uh, it creates a barrier between a hard surface and her skin so it becomes uh, sanitary. So you make it tacky, and how you do that is you feel it. You take it here, and then you, you, you feel it, and you can feel the tackiness of it. And that's how you know, because if you do too much, what you're going to do is smear that ink everywhere and your stencil, and you don't want that. So I'm going to add a little bit more. There's a couple of you know times that you'll try to get it right, but you want this to be perfect. This is your make it or break it right here. If you don't have a good stencil, you're not going to have a good tack, period. End of subject. What we're doing. Well, they know I'm making a DVD. From Scratcher to Pro Volume 1. So now what you want to do is you want to make sure that you have your paper towel a little bit moist with some green soap or disinfectant, whatever you use, some rubbing alcohol. And we're going to go do a placement again. Still tacky. Safe side. Where's that shit? One more. And on this process, you kind of got to hurry up, but I see you guys screw this part up a lot. And there's a lot of requests for these uh, stencil applications because you guys mess it up. And you're not taking your time, and that's why. You have to really take your time in this process. The client doesn't know that, but this is one of the most important processes of your, their tattoo. So patience is the key. Right there. Go down more. This up, this way. Right there. Right there. Right there. Right, right there. there. Start in the middle, guys. Place it. Oh, shit. Shit, 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 shit. Just wipe that off. It's okay. Oh, good thing you go. Yanka. That ain't my fault. It's your hand. Shoot. That happens. Okay, so. One more time. Hey, take that off, though. Take what off? That don't matter? No. No. Right there, right? Mm-hmm.
Okay, you start from the middle and work your edges outward. Once you get it on there, take your paper towel and just work it in. Make sure that all areas give a little bit of pressure there. Make sure not to josh it around so you get all effed up. Make sure it's in there and not too much, man. Once you get it, lift up a corner and see what you got and then lift. See, that, that part's okay. That part's okay. That part's not okay. That's good though. We'll do it again. See this part right here, guys? That's not good. And that's because of too much um, stencil stuff. See this part right here? That's not good. Right in here. But let me see. But we're good. I don't even need to uh, mess with that. All right, we've got the stencil on. This says, uh, fuck love, fuck you, fuck me, fuck everyone. And uh, that's what it means. Here we go. All right, my voltage, I'm set at eight, around eight. Fluctuating between 785 and eight. I've got a pretty good hit. Start low a little bit. can hear the variance, but I'm going to get to it because we're in a rush. So I'm not going to talk long. I thought you were going to do lower than that. What? No, lower. No, you go too low, you're going to stick in skin. So here we go. Okay. Can you turn up louder? What, the music? Yeah. So she's a little nervous. This is my first tattoo. This is her first tat. So, she's a little nervous. Okay, so, here we go, ladies and gents. She's a little nervous. You can smell the fear. She needs a shot. <laughs> yep. Where are you gonna start at? I'm gonna start over here. The L? Yeah. See this L right here? I'm gonna start, okay? Don't hurt me, please. I'm not gonna try. Turn off, I don't want <laughs> She doesn't want the camera on. I don't think you can see anyways. Let's go this way. Tell me if you can see it in the camera. Can you see it? Take a peek. No, well, you moved it, yeah. Right there, you can. Okay. You don't hurt me. Not going. Listen, let me explain before you flip out. We're not going that deep, okay? I'm working off the tips of the needles, okay? Ready? Ready? Yeah. But you're gonna do it. Do you not stop that shit? Why is he doing this to me? Just why? I'm like, you prepared in me for you. He did like three times and didn't do nothing. <laughs> there we go. You're making me nervous. Shit. Here, you know what? It's gonna be better. Let me see your hands. I'm loving it more now how it's looking. 
Okay, so what we're doing is we're packing a little bit of color. I'm using a five round loose a shader, a round shader. And yes, I did use the lighter trick. And this will hurt a little bit more, Bianca. Small, small ovals, guys. Little tiny ones. And so, with the needle, you have to just fill and then wipe to see where you're at so you can fix. So, see, that looks gay. Okay, so that's why, is because you have to bring it out more. Ah, 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 ah. You guys are bumping, dude. I have to draw this heart. Go this way, Bianca. No! So I'm using Fusion Ink, and it's in there pretty good, but I'm not done with it because I'm sculpting it. Don't move, Tasso. Please don't move. I'm sculpting the heart freehand pretty much. Make sure that it comes out really, you know, like a heart and not a dot. And remember, you don't want to work it too much unless you're going really soft. But this this will definitely scab. Let me see. That's pretty nice though. I want to leave a white, like a little white highlight in there. Dude. It's a cute little heart though. Don't overwork color, guys. Your color is all about your depth and your throw and your steadiness. And if you're moving too quick, you're gonna have holidays spots that show through. Make sure that you overlap like you're mowing a lawn, back and forth, a little bit. Only half of what you did last, not the whole thing. You'll tear it up. Spread that skin and don't overwork too much, but you're definitely going to get a scab on color. Color's my, when I'm getting tattooed, the worst part for me. in there but you know what I, I want to do I want to do like a, a pink outline I think that looks fine for now like light no lighter next time she just wants to be done let me see 
Looks nice, like a little heart, though. Looks cute. Yeah. I'm going at a 45 degree angle because of the technique that I'm using and what I'm doing. I'm adding a lighter variance around the edge to kind of make it pop. Kind of give it a little halo, and when it heals, it'll be kind of shadowed a little bit. That's good. So yeah, that's cool um, for now. She'll get it touched up, but let me okay. wash it. Let me wash it. It's gonna be burning. Stop it. She gotta go now. I wanna Make it cage. On a pain threshold from your being your first, of course it hurt. We know that. But where she got it, there's a lot of tendons, and it's very, very. This is high prone to swelling. The heart didn't hurt though. So she's saying that the color didn't hurt. Usually, typically, it does. I use Fusion ink and it goes in really quick. I'm telling you guys, the problem is is that you're, if you're not licensed, you can't get it unless you work in a shop. So you gotta get a hook up on that and um, get that Fusion, I'm telling you. So, it's a little lighter in the middle, but we'll leave it. It's gonna be a little bit lighter in the middle. We'll, we'll fill it in, okay? Turn it off. Take it. Yeah, all right guys, so on a scale from one to 10, what was that pain like? I got a seven and a half, eight. Seven and a half, eight, that's normal. And look, there's hardly no redness or swelling, guys. That's what you want. Because once it gets huge, the ink starts popping out, and that's when you gotta hurry up and stop tattooing and freaking stop that swelling. But all right, peace till next time, dudes. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. 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 Is it? Is it? Is it? <laughs> Dude, right where it is right now is how it's supposed to look on the heels. Yeah. It's in. Alright, so there it is. And we're going to apply, because she's going to be going home outside. So we're just going to apply this real quick. Grab this part. I hate this crap too. And you only leave this on from point A to point B. The shop, the house, whatever to wherever. You don't leave it on overnight like they said. It's bullshit. That is a harvester for bacteria. Think about it. No, I already got it. Oh. Right here, we're just going to put this on. You do not leave it on all night, overnight. That's BS, dude. That's a myth that harbors bacteria.